this is the kind of poem that I wanted to write about when I set about this, because I still remember being in my cubicle on the sixth floor of Butler Library when I was uh, writing my dissertation. And in those days, um, people, uh, well, I mean, the, the, the lyrics were not really um, front and center on people's um, uh, kind of scheremo in terms of what was Dante. And so I just set about really reading through them on my own. And one of the things that was unbelievable to me was a canzone like this, because it so rewrote the narrative of who Dante was and how he got to be who he was. And it made it clear, you know, I ended up with a dissertation that became a first book that's called Dante's Poets that's really about how Dante imposes a narrative on his past and how the gravitational pull of the story of his own development as he tells it in the Commedia is so strong that it's a gravitational pull that even has inflected Italian historiography that still contains the categories that Dante sets up in the Commedia. But I became just already, already in that book, in Dante's Poets, the first chapter is on the autocitazioni, the three times in the Commedia that Dante cites his own lyric poems. So that path, that path of how he got to be the poet whose gravitational pull uh, was so immense that we don't even look at the path because that path has been elided by what came after. Reconstructing that path really is something I fell in love with in my 20s in, in Butler Library as I read through his lyrics. And it showed in my first book in that chapter on autocitazione, but it then really became something that I came back to much later. And um, I feel a kind of, I, I feel that wonderful way in which you feel that you've come back to something that you really fell in love with very early and you finally, you finally found a way to really address it. Though as I read through Barbie and Contini and uh, Foster Boyd, I never thought that I would do a commentary. And when um, Maria Luisa, uh, Maria Rosa Bricchi called me from Rizzoli um, years ago and asked me to do a commentary, I said, but no, we have uh, Contini and we have uh, uh, Foster Boyd and now we're going to have De Robertis. And she said, no, 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 do a commentary. Um, so because of that ancient love, um, I, I said yes, it was, really, it was really because of that. And this canzone was really one of the triggers of that ancient love because not only is it so remarkable in itself, but because the interstizi, the, 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 the ways it showed you in to a path that seemed so reified that there was no way in, but look, there was a way in because it turned out that Dante, when he was young and about the same time that he was writing Donne che avete intelletto d'amore in, in its position in Purgatorio 24 as the canzone that defines who he is, that about the same time he was capable of writing Per quella moro che ha nome Beatrice, I die for that one, I die on account of her whose name is Beatrice. When his entire later life is devoted to Per quella vivo che ha nome Beatrice, 